Hello? Watch me devastate this mic. One, two, three. Sucker MCs running in fear. All right, here we go. Now, you could try for fluid motion or the posterized time effect. What this does is it'll take your 24 frames per second and chop them up to a more jittery stop motion, kind of like the Lego movie. That's what that effect is, posterized time. It's cutting out frames to make it a little bit more choppy. So if you got a frame rate of 24, the more, the higher the frame rate, the smoother the motion. So if we decrease this, it'll get more choppy. So I'm going to try 18 frames, okay? And let's run this back and see what happens. And then I'll try it one more time at normal speed. Let's try eight frames just for fun of it. Play back. All right, so let's try 34 just for the fun of it. And then we'll call it a night one sec. We'll let it render. Now it's like, wait, what? Now it's creating frames. It's guessing. It's actually interesting looking. So that actually looked like it fixed some of it. That was posterized time with a frame rate of 34. And your composition, oh, your composition was at 30 frames, not 30, not 24. Okay. So it just added a little bit to it. So did you have to go into the actual file to do it? Or? I went to your actual file and I threw it on your character rig pre-com. So I'm just seeing if there's a difference between the two. You know what I mean? Yeah. That does look smoother, even on this. So I, so I submit the video to the assignment. Yeah, no, no, no. Nobody needs to submit it because I went in Google Drive. All right, I'm going to end this recording.